Bomb Software is a studio best known for what it's done in the past 10 years. Its action RPGs, commonly called Souls-likes, are among the most popular and acclaimed games of their generation. Through these games, From has earned a reputation for creativity and ingenuity, creating worlds and gameplay systems that stand out from the rest of the video game industry. But that reputation has only been established recently. From has been developing games for nearly three decades, and it was a long journey before the company made it big with Demon Souls. Today on Game Files, we're going to show how From Software became the respected developer it is today by walking you through the studio's surprisingly deep history. And to do that, we'll have to go back to where it all began, 1994. Technically, From was founded in 1986, but its first game came out in 94, so that's where our story begins. That game was King's Field, a launch title for the original PlayStation in Japan. In it, you explore a giant 3D dungeon, fighting monsters in real-time combat with swords and magic. If that sounds familiar, you can basically describe Dark Souls in the same way. The only difference was that King's Field is 17 years older and also much, much slower. Play the game today and you'll see it doesn't exactly hold up. But at the time, King's Field was popular enough to warrant several sequels. From Software followed up King's Field with games like Shadow Tower and Evergrace. PlayStation 2 launch title Eternal Ring was a spiritual successor to it, and Lost Kingdoms for the GameCube continued that legacy. Not all of these succeeded, most were mediocre to be frank, but it allowed the studio to earn a reputation as a niche RPG developer. Yet From Software wasn't widely known for its RPGs at this point in time. In fact, it was a completely different genre that made From Software a name in the industry, mechs. From Software's first game that wasn't Kingsfield was 1997's Armored Core, a mech action game that was the perfect fit for Japanese audiences. It wasn't the first mecha game, but it did allow players to customize their mechs, or cores as they're called, and fight with them in big 3D worlds. That wasn't something other games in the genre were capable of, which meant Armored Core quickly became the mech game to play. And for the next decade, from Software's specialty was all things mecha. Armored Core sequels followed with each new console, and there were plenty of original mech games that were developed outside that series. Frame Grid, Murakumo, Armored Mech Pursuit, Chrome Hounds, Another Century Episode, the list goes on. Point being, it was in mechs where From Software first made its name. I'd also like to take a moment to highlight one game. Metal Wolf Chaos, which is perhaps the only video game that lets you play as the President of the United States of America. Outside of the Armored Core series, the studio was content to experiment with new genres every now and again. It tried to make a big-budget Final Fantasy-style game with enchanted arms, which landed with a dud. And Otogi was an action series inspired by Japanese mythology that remains a cult classic to this day. From Software's biggest game, however, was still to come. The studio was successful in the late 2000s, but they hadn't yet created a huge hit. So when the studio got to work on a new RPG for the PlayStation 3, it had no expectations that the game it created would cement From Software's place in video game history. Demon's Souls was an RPG designed to evoke classic video games, which were notoriously difficult and where death meant the loss of everything. But beyond its difficulty, the game featured a morbid, decaying world that allowed players to leave messages for each other, including how they died. Levels were intricate, monsters were deadly, and there were far too many ways for players to build their character. It took a while for Demon Souls to get noticed. Japanese players didn't flock to the game, and most publishers didn't want to give it a Western release. But Atlas took a chance. And when it launched in North America in late 2009, the response was immediate. Players and critics loved this game, and word of mouth quickly caused Demon Souls to become a cult classic. Its success in America meant a release in Europe the next year. More importantly, it meant that From Software could begin work on a follow-up. What happened after Demon Souls' success is commonly known. From Software would go on to release the Dark Souls trilogy, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, all sold millions of copies and established From Software as one of the most influential developers of the past decade. The original Dark Souls and Bloodborne are particularly beloved, 
regularly appearing on lists for the greatest games of all time. As for what's next for From Software, the studio is hard at work developing Elden Ring, their next action RPG. It'll be the studio's first open world game, with the lore being written by Game of Thrones author George R.R. Martin. And much like the next Game of Thrones book, no one knows when Elden Ring is going to come out. The only thing we can be sure of is that From Software will once again prove that it's currently one of the best developers in the business.